What's good, YouTube? It's Eclair Survive and Prophecy. And I'm back with my NFL and NBA pickums. Um, obviously, as you can tell, I do my pickums every Wednesday. So, for the NFL, seeing that, you know, Sunday is going to be the last, you know, uh, well, this Sunday is going to be the last season, obviously. You know, uh, it's going to be division versus division. So you're going to see a lot of division, you know, opponents face each other. And, you know, you know, like you're going to get the Chiefs versus the Broncos. Probably you're going to get, you know, the Cowboys versus the Giants. You're going to get the Ravens versus the, you know, Browns. You're going to get the Browns versus the Ravens. You might get the Jets versus the Bills. You might get the Packers versus the Bears. You know what I'm saying? So, which is... Uh, I mean, I don't know why the NFL always does this every single year where they wait to the last, you know, they wait, like, they wait to the last week of the NFL to match up teams against their division, you know? Like, usually week one, you might probably get Cowboys and Giants. It's been that way since 2009, you know? 2009, 10, you know, 11. 11 was the only season I believe that we didn't face the Cowboys. We faced the Redskins, but obviously we wind up, you know, you know, losing that game. But we wind up winning the Super Bowl. Um but anyways, um so yeah, so you know, I don't know who these teams face. I'm just gonna pick them. You know, I can care less who they face. They face they all face division foes, so doesn't really matter. Uh, number one, and actually, I'm gonna go from six to one, uh, cause I'm gonna pick six. Usually, I pick three, but this time, since it's the end of the season, I'm gonna pick six. So we're gonna start from six. So I'm gonna pick the Packers. Number five, I'm gonna pick the Jets. Number four, I'm gonna pick the Browns. Number three, Ravens. Number two, Cowboys. Number one, Chiefs. Okay. Um and you know, I'm going to start doing NBA pickums every Friday. So every Friday, uh, I'm going to, you know, obviously, because I'm going to see if I can, you know, you know, like every Friday I'm going to pick, you know, uh, what you call it, NFL, I mean NBA. So Friday, obviously Friday is the 1st of January. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, um, so I'm going to start from one to six again, or I'm going to start doing six games from the, for the NBA. Uh, so yeah, so my six teams that's going to win, obviously Friday, is I have the Hawks, the Blazers, the Suns. The Lakers, the Heat, and the Knicks. Let's see you one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so I got the Hawks, the Blazers, the Suns, the Lakers, the Heat, and the Knicks. So that's six. So there you have it. Uh hopefully, you know, all these teams win on both sides. Um and yeah. I've been saying that the Rams are going to win the suit. Um, uh, I said this year the Rams are going to win the Super Bowl, so it might be the Steelers versus the Rams. Who knows, you know? But I don't think the Chiefs have it in them. I don't think they can turn it on like people think they claim they can be, or that you know, fans think that you know, like. You know, I never heard that term before, turn it on. What is that? You know, like it's either you are going to repeat as Super Bowl champions or not. Because that's not how the NFL rolls. The NFL, the NFL picks, yes, the NFL picks and chooses who's going to win the Super Bowl. Who's going to represent this, who's going to represent in the Super Bowl, right? For all those years, it's been the Patriots, you know. It's been the Patriots versus the Seahawks. It's been the Patriots versus the Rams. It's been the Patriots versus the, you know, Atlanta Falcons. You know what I'm saying? So, 
but it's been a it's been a ten year stretch where the where the um where the Patriots never actually won the Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? So you know we went from the Ravens winning a Super Bowl to the Packers winning a Super Bowl to the Giants winning a Super Bowl in 2011, 2007. You know what I'm saying? Um, who else? I think that's it, you know. The Broncos, obviously. Um, you know, Tampa Bay all the way back in 2000. You know what I'm saying? So, it's been like that since the dawn. You know what I'm saying? Like, the NBA, like, the NFL changes its format every single year, you know. Now, can the Chiefs win back-to-back -back Super Bowls? That's yet to be determined because a lot of people think that the Bills can dethrone them. Look, the Bills is all right as a team, but they're not, they're not Super Bowl contenders, you know. In the eyes of the NFL, they don't view the Bills as a threat. Now, can they knock off the Chiefs? Yes. You know, it's a playoff game. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's a positive because... You know, Josh Allen had his first playoff game against the Texans. You know what I'm saying? So he has that underneath his belt. So he knows what it takes now to get the job done. Hopefully he could come through. But I don't see the Chiefs repeating as Super Bowl champions. It's not in the D it's not in the NFL's DNA to to you know to keep them on top, you know, unless they're trying to be that dynasty that the Patriots failed to be. You know what I'm saying? People have to look at that too. You know what I'm saying? Like, out of all the teams, they picked the Chiefs. The Chiefs was god-awful from, from, from 2000s. You know what I'm saying? From, from 2001 all the way up to now, the Chiefs has been garbage. You know, they've been going through quarterbacks after quarterbacks after quarterbacks. They had, you know, Poe and, 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 and Bo, Dwayne Bo. I mean, they have some pretty good talent come and go, but, you know, they it never equal to success. You know, they was always in the bottom of their division. You know what I'm saying? So, now that they're all suddenly getting good, they got the quarterback they wanted, they got the head coach, which some people feel like, you know, he didn't deserve a Super Bowl, which, you know, to be honest with you, you know, you know, like, to be honest with you, He's been coaching the and he's been coaching the Philadelphia Eagles for about eight years now, I believe, eight or seven years. You know, he's won a bunch of division titles. He's appeared in the Super Bowl, but obviously lost against. I forgot to mention the Eagles beat the 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 Patriots beat the Eagles when you know they had Donovan McNabb and you know obviously To was you know playing on a broken leg. You know what I'm saying? Like, how come he didn't win the Super Bowl that? You know, like, he could have been a two-time Super Bowl champion if he, or if Donovan McNabb had beaten the Patriots. But we all know that, you know, that 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 Super Bowl was going to go to the Patriots. You know what I'm saying? Because they was not going to give T.O. a Super Bowl because of his antics and his behavior. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know... Like, the NFL is a racist business, you know? People might call it, people may not call it a racist business, but I believe it's racist, you know? Not the players itself, but just, you know, owners, you know? The Giants owners is racist, you know? The the Texans, you know, owner, Bob McNair, who passed away, you know what I'm saying? Saying that you can't let, you know, inmates run the asylum. Like, that was a racist term, you know? And I believe he was talking to all the black African Americans about that, you know, to that, to them, you know. I don't think he was just saying, oh, we can't let the inmates run the asylum. Like, 99, or probably, I, I, won't, I won't say 99, but I'll probably say 88% of the, uh, of the, of, of the African American public population is incarcerated. 88%. 88% of the African American population is incarcerated right now in the United States in 2020. 
No, actually, that was in 2019. Now, I don't know if it changed or not, but that's how high the percentage was, you know? I think for white males, it was 61%. For Asians, it was like, you know, 16%. You know what I'm saying? So we had the higher rates of, we had the highest population to be cross-rated. You know what I'm saying? So that obviously explains itself, you know? Like he was targeting African-Americans, you know? Like he, he, like he didn't even say a race. He just said, he didn't say a race. He didn't say nothing. All he said was, we cannot let the inmates run the asylum. We all know in jail or in prison who runs the asylum is basically dominant African Americans. You know, some males, some white males too, but you know, we all know what he was, you know, aiming at. You know what I'm saying? Um... But, you know, I mean, to be honest with you, I don't necessarily care who wins the Super Bowl because I'm not going to watch it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just doing these pick em games because, you know, I just feel like, you know, doing them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but the, the NBA, obviously, every Friday, I'm going to do them. Six games, I'm going to do them and see how far I can get on my, you know, record right now because my record is looking sloppy. You know what I'm saying um, I'm 16 and 18. I'm mean, no, I'm 16. Um, 16 and 18 right now on my in, in, on my uh, NBA pickums. So, you know, if these like if I could get out of six, if I could get four right, no, if I could get five right out of six and could probably get like three wrong, then I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, to me, it's all about favoritism. You know. Like, the Knicks are supposed to beat the Blazers. The Heat is supposed to beat whoever they face. The Lakers are supposed to beat whoever they face. The Suns are supposed to beat whoever they face. The Blazers and the Hawks are supposed to face whoever they beat, whoever they face, you know. The Hawks versus the Nets are not going to be a great matchup. But, you know, obviously, you know, the 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 Hawks got size, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, like, comment, subscribe uh, if you agree. Again, I got the Chiefs, Cowboys, Ravens. Browns, Jets, Packers, and for Friday NBA, I got the Knicks, the Net. I mean, I got the Knicks, the Heat, the Lakers, the Suns, the Blazers, and the Hawks. Like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other.